Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I've been on the road. I've drove over about 300 miles today because I had to drive back home, take care of some stuff, stop by the stores, and bringing back Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy. While his car's in the shop, he's going to be down here working with me, and I'm happy as can be. And so as soon as I get finished this, we're going to probably go get uh, about 15 bags of cement to go ahead and pour um, some steps and stuff, maybe, or we might wait till tomorrow. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, as I was coming down the road, shout out to Dak Attack as well as to uh, Jeff Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, who had Brian Brodus on, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday. And they were talking about Micah Parsons. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people are like, man, I'm sick of Micah Parsons, man. We just need to get rid of that guy because he's a bum. A bum that got 14 sacks. Hmm. Yeah. 14 sacks. Do you know how many times we've had people going over 14 sacks in the last 10 years? I'm just asking for a friend. I think, did the did, did log get, was that 13 and a half or was it 14 and a half? And I'm going to say the next one would be DeMarcus Ware, probably around 2011. I would probably say that because the last two years, I think he had six and a half sacks. But be that as it may, what Brian Brodus was saying about Micah Parsons is he is a player. He likes to go out and actually play. He is not a student of the game, per se. Now, there's a lot of people who don't like classroom. They don't like film sessions and things. And so he was implying that one of the reasons why Micah Parsons doesn't want to be a linebacker is because you've got to spend so much time in the classroom. I'm just going, but now don't, don't shoot the messenger here. Deal with the message. Um... This is what's being reported, and that's why I'm talking about it. That Micah Parsons, in the same way that he's like, I don't really want to be there for OTAs. This doesn't mean anything. Um, let me get myself together, and then as we get ready for the season, I'll be there playing. Because, uh, in essence, I think what he's doing um, is, uh, uh, I would say, Allen Iverson-like. You know, where he's basically talking about, we talking about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. practice. Not a game. Not, a, not, not the game that I go out there and, and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We're talking about practice, practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? I mean, we're, we're talking, talking about, about practice. practice. I know I'm supposed to be there. I know I'm supposed to lead by example. I know that. And I'm not, I'm not shoving it aside, you know, like it don't mean anything. I know it's important. I do. I honestly do. But we're talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? We're talking about practice. practice. We're talking about practice, practice. man. <laughs> we're talking, we're we're talking about, about practice. practice. We're talking about practice. practice now. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. When you come into the arena, <laughs> I love this. You see me play, I haven't played this in a long you time. You see me play, don't you? You see me give everything I got, right? Absolutely. But we talking about practice right now. We talking about practice. <laughs> look, I hear you. It's funny to me too. I mean, it's strange. It's strange to me too. But we talking about practice, man. We're not even talking about the game, the actual game. We're what talking about practice. We're talking about practice. Yeah, is it possible, though, that from where he's coming from, if you practice, not you would be better, but your teammates would be better? How the hell can I make my teammates better by practicing? All righty. So, Micah Parsons, they say, you know, he likes to go sit in with the wide receivers, sit in with the quarterbacks and stuff, do everything except sit in with his position. And he is a gamer. Let, let's be clear here. He's a gamer except late in the season, okay? You know, when his body gets beat down. 
because he is undersized, about 245, 250, going against guys 320, 330 every week. He is an instinctual player that knows how to bull rush, knows how to throw at the offensive lineman if he has to, how to set him up and do moves. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to be the entrepreneur who's out there sumo wrestling, throwing out the first pitch, dropping the hoppy puck, you know, doing all kinds of things and having fun with it. And wants to be the best that he can be. As he put it, he wants to be not just a Hall of Famer, but the greatest Hall of Famer. And my response would be is... He's already going to be great. There's no question about that. But the ones that truly have the longevity and really and truly become the greatest that there ever are are the tacticians, the guys that understand the game from every single phase. And sometimes that is beyond just the God-given talent that you have to also put in that work, that book smarts, that, that, that stuff that's, that's not fun. Because you're 95% there. You get that extra 5%, then you're completely unstoppable. The question is, is are we looking at, you know, Mike Zimmer and Micah Parsons' car crash? Because Micah Parsons said, you know, I have things the way I like to do, you know, do my way. And then Mike Zimmer, of course, is a control freak. I don't know if he's mellowed out since he was let go from Minnesota a couple of years ago. But he's a guy who is very, very oriented on discipline. And these two things are kind of going in two different directions. So the question will be, and this is where the Joneses have a lot to do with this. Because in the past, with Jason Garrett, you know, some of the players, they could just bypass the coach and go straight to Jerry. And when you have that ear of the owner, you basically undercut the coach and the guy who's trying to put it all together and win. I don't know how that's going to work. But definitely, something's going to have to give. Now, Mike Zimmer is... One of those guys who's smart enough to realize I've got a great talent and I need to figure out what's the best way to get him motivated and get the most out of him. Some guys you got to put a foot in the ass, some guys you got to coddle, and so on. I hope Mike Zimmer can figure out how to make Micah Parsons tick. All right, good people. Um, I have to. I'll do this later. Um, Like I said, I want to get started doing some things because I don't feel like I've gotten anything accomplished today. But when I was talking earlier today about Kellen Moore and Jalen Hurts seeming to be hitted for disaster, some Eagle fans didn't take kindly to it because, of course, you're a Cowboy fan. You know, worry about your own shit. Okay. All right. I'm just saying that I'm just passing on what your guys are saying about the situation. Anyway, have a great day and I will see y'all real soon. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has four kinds of cars or four kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.